Here's the Husky starting lineup. Noteworthy that Washington doesn't have Kirsten Barton uh, available today or Katie Wessels. It's okay. Some, some new players get in there, some fresh legs. Let's see what they do today. Meanwhile, for Northwestern, watch for Alexa Russo, graduate setter who does a little bit of everything. Not only six assists per set, but two kills per set this season. Alexis Russo just helping her team out anywhere she can, a real team player. And she's coming off a 25 assist, six dig performance. The Wildcats contest at Oregon on Friday night, which they dropped in four sets. So here we go, the first ever Big Ten meeting between the Huskies and the Wildcats. Audra Wilmes comes out swinging from the right pin and gets the first point for UW. Audra Wilmes taking a nice high swing there through the seam in the block. Let's we'll see what she does tonight. It's huge that Washington has her healthy, especially without Kirsten Barden. Will miss, miss five straight games due to injury before returning a week ago against Nebraska. Ensley with a great serve, and it's an ace. Maddie Ensley doing what she does best out there. It's a great serve, high off the shoulder of the passer. It's really hard to pass those. The senior came into this match second on the team in aces with 22 of them. That one's overpassed. Elise Haney comes out firing. Elise Subbing Haney. in for Katie Wessels. He has a big opportunity today. Elise Haney starting off strong. A lot of power behind that swing. Hitting it towards the cutback. That hit Northwestern setter taking her out. Hard ball to pass too. Haney has only played in 13 sets this season. So this is a massive chance for her with Wessels on the bench. Northwestern's on the scoreboard. That's Rylan Reed, the junior from Rolling Meadows, Illinois. It's a nice line shot. She saw a hole in the block there and went for it. Caught Washington setter off guard there. And here is Sophia Summers, the former Husky turned Wildcat. Imani Bush, beautiful cross-court swing. Imani Bush, a little wide on the set there, saw an opportunity to hit it cross-court and just placed it in the right spot. It was huge for Washington in their upset of Minnesota on the road. 19 kills, tying her career high as the Huskies toppled the 16th ranked Gophers. Russo sends it back to Reed. Drew Wright has to set this one. Wilson keeps it alive again. Back in system. And a quick kill up the middle from Kennedy Hill. Kennedy Hill, a really strong middle for Northwestern. She's really strong blocking, but she's an offensive threat there too. So you saw she was hanging in the air a little bit, waited for our block to be on the way down, and then crushed it to the middle of the court. Hill hitting 307 this season while leading the team in blocks as well. Lauren Carter serves. Bush, good cover from Lauren Bays. Punched back up by Busse Hazan. Overpass, chance here for NU. Back-to-back -back kills for Kennedy Hill. That same shot from Kennedy Hill, she's hitting it on her way down. And as a blocker, it's so hard to block that. Your timing is off, and she has the advantage. Northwestern trying to improve on a 3-12 Big Ten mark. Their only conference wins have come against Maryland and Iowa. Bush from the outside. Great dig by Wright. Hunt covers it. Wildcats scramble. Russo goes cross court. Arusso, the setter for Northwestern, is running a 6-2 where she becomes the opposite hitter when she's front row. And she's quite effective at it, as you saw there's a nice sharp swing from her. She's fifth in career assists at Northwestern, but also a phenomenal hitter. Drew Wright is cleaning up everything, and Kennedy Hill has already notched three kills. 
Kennedy Hill with the quick attack there. She hit that before our block was even up. So the Wildcats put together a 4-0 scoring run and take the lead. Wilson back set will miss. Molly Wilson with a really great set there on a tough pass is a little tight. And you saw as she turned her chest to the net to save that play for Audrey to press. It's a high level play by Molly Wilson there. Washington's played a lot of 5-1 this season, some 6-2 as well. Wilson put up big numbers when they run that 5-1 and 37 assists, 15 digs, four blocks, two aces in that win against Minnesota. How does not having Katie Wessels and Kirsten Barden affect what Washington has to do strategically today? I don't think it changes our strategy. I think it gives a chance for other players to jump in and be a part of the team. Wilson tries Julia Hunt on the slide. Reed is there with the dig. Tough spot for Russo. Alex Russo being aggressive with that there. Just barely missed it. Well, Northwestern's trying to tack on its fourth conference win. Washington is 8-7, ninth place in the Big Ten. Currently 31st in RPI. In good position to qualify for the NCAA tournament, but this is a game that UW really has to have against a team that's 213th in RPI. The Washington Huskies, they have tournament dreams. Yeah, they want to get back to the big dance after missing it last year. It was the first time in 22 seasons that they had not qualified. Of course, last season hampered by a lot of injuries. Amani Bush didn't play all year. Now she's a core piece in 2024. Punched long by Ensley. Wildcats up two. Maddie Ensley going for high hands there and just missing. Northwestern runs a rotational defense, which is a little different. Not a lot of teams do that anymore. So we'll see how the Huskies handle that. Serve long from Drew Wright. How might the Huskies change their approach to beat that rotational defense? Yeah, they got to mix up their shots. Their normal shots aren't going to work here, which is probably why Northwestern runs it, because it makes it easier to pick up the statistically shots that Washington does quite often. So just finding new shots and what works. Hazan hits into the net. That's created by a great serve by the freshman middle, Julia Hunt. Julia Hunt. For such a young player, she's so talented in all aspects of the game. Even as a first year and a middle blocker, she's been a tremendous server this season. 18 aces coming into this one. Second chance for Hazan. Wilson feeds Ensley, who beats the block. Three straight for UW. Maddie Ensley really swinging hard at the seam in the block on that one. It wasn't quite close, but she saw an opportunity and hit it off of Sophia Summers' arms there. There's nothing you can do about that as a blocker. It's tough. Taking it out on her former teammate. Huskies up by one. A serve. Julia Hunt, that high, deep serve, it just doesn't, it looks like it's going out in the last second, it's gonna drop in, which is why she caught that passer off guard there. Hunt out of Covington, Kentucky. Earned Big Ten Freshman of the Week back in mid-September. The first Big Ten honor that the Husky has ever received, and it seems like she's just getting better and better as the season wears on. Really impressive the way she is hanging tough as a first year in this conference. I'm excited for Julia Hunt's future at Washington. She could be one of the greats. Yeah, I think a lot of Husky fans have a lot of optimism in the next four years with her. Ensley through a seam. Madison Ensley's found that seam that works on against their rotational defense. And Washington's head coach Leslie Gabriel has talked with us this season about the fact that Ensley has diversified her approach. It's not always that fastball. She's got a nice little tip, sometimes the roll shot, and that makes her more effective. It's really hard to defend a player with all the shots in her in her back pocket. Russo sets to Randorf. Ensley the other way. No touch. 
Ensley just missing the block on that one. It looks like Northwestern has scouted Washington quite well and is staying low to the net, not allowing their hitters to go high off their hands. Well, they might have some insights from Sophia Summers, who knows the other side of the net all too well, having spent four seasons here on Montlake. And many of these Huskies were teammates with Sophia Summers just a few years ago. Catherine Randorf off the block. Wilson feeds Haney up the middle, but there's Summers with the stuff. Sophia Summers is known for her blocking, and as you saw in that one, she's a long athlete who's just in the right spot more often than not. It's going to make it tough for younger player Elise Haney here. And Summers redshirted her first year at UW, but then had three productive seasons. A really efficient hitter, hit 385 during her time as a Husky and had almost one block per set. There's Imani Bush, her second kill. Imani Bush saw one blocker and said, this is my shot right here. Great swing by Imani Bush. Credit to Elise Haney for pulling the middle blocker to give Imani Bush that single block there. Wilson dives to set it for Bush. Randor from the right side. Zoria Hurd gets there. Very high free ball. Huskies scrambling. Rylan Reed gathers, fires, and misses long, but she got a touch. Point Northwestern. Rylan Reed went up looking for hands on that shot. She knew she was off the net, and she was smart with that play. And she started school at Porto Gulf Coast in 2022, then transferred to Northwestern last year. A Chicagoland native out of Rolling Meadows. Will miss right side, another kill. Audra hitting a good sharp shot there. A little off speed, but it was more about placement than power on that swing. She's been effective since returning from injury just over a week ago. Eight kills, only one error on 25 swings. And Washington's lost to UCLA on Wednesday night. Nice little tip from Kennedy Hill. She leads everyone today with four kills. Both offenses coming out firing here. They're each hitting above 200. Hill is errorless so far in seven swings. Lauren Carter sets it for Hill. But it's a stuff this time. Julia Hunt on the rejection. Julia Hunt was all over that set. She actually dedicated with the middle in Northwestern and stayed with her that whole rally. That is a sign of respect as an opponent if the opponent's middle is following you around the... Still ranks third in career blocks among all Huskies. Washington is serving sharply to start this match. That's an ace for Imani Bush. Imani Bush coming out strong after the timeout. Sometimes it's hard to hit your serve right after a timeout. You're cold, you're off kilter a little bit. You came into a timeout and she did it right there. It's like icing the kicker in football, right? Absolutely. There's another good serve from Bush. And Hazan gets stuffed. Julia Hunt up strong and early there. She was across early. She saw exactly where Hassan was hitting that shot. On a play like that, it's also harder for Hazan to see where the block is, right? Playing the ball over her shoulder. Hassan likely can't see the block. She's just hitting it as best as she can. Amani Bush throwing darts. A 3-0 burst from Washington, and the Huskies have pulled ahead by five. Timeout, Wildcats. And that's perhaps the most notable disparity so far. Washington with four aces, none for the Wildcats. Washington Huskies known for their serving, and they're really making a show of it today. And now he's got his chance with a high major program. How about that? 
Everything going Washington's way. A third ace for Amani Bush. Amani Bush back-to-back -back aces after timeouts. A little bit of luck that time, spilling it over the tape. And the Huskies on a 4-0 run. That one's overpassed. Another Husky point. This is a marvelous stretch of service from Amani Bush. Amani Bush just hitting her same serve time after time. Put the pressure on the opposing passers. Make them have to pass good balls every single time you serve. Bush, a junior from Campbell River, British Columbia, up on Vancouver Island. Only entered with seven aces this season. And that will be a Northwestern point, finally stemming the 6-0 Husky scoring run. Northwestern's turn to return fire here. Let's, we'll see what they can do with Drew Wright, sophomore from Hermosa Beach, California. Ensley in a tight set. Just swats it with the left hand and it pays off. Maddie Ensley has every shot known to man in her back pocket. She can hit it with the left hand, right hand, tip it, swing hard. Anything thrown at her, she can handle. And sometimes you have to improvise midair and just swat it with the left hand. That's part of the fun of the game of volleyball is you don't ever know what's coming for you. Julia Hunt with a dig. The middle playing some good back row defense. Right floats it for Russo. Setter to setter. That won't work. Doors are closed. Ensley the block. It was a very strong block by Maddie Ensley there. Accompanied by Elise Haney, it was closed. They took up a lot of space. Really hard as a hitter there to find some court. The Huskies dominating in set one, and they force another Northwestern timeout. Now up 22-14. Dynamic group of outsides that have led the Husky offense this year. Hunt right down the middle, played by Gigi Navarrete. Ensley. Russo off speed, and the changeup delivers a kill. Smart shot by Alex Russo there. Tipped it right over the block, and she knows Washington has a middle serving and playing right behind Maddie Ensley there. Russo has to be one of the most well-rounded players in this conference. Six assists per set, two kills per set. She hits 251. A couple of digs per set as well. Wilson dumps it over on two. Molly Wilson saw an opportunity there. It passed just a little bit too tight and booped it right over. Boop. Wilson doesn't dump it over too often, but that one was too easy for her. Absolutely. She's strategic with it. Doesn't overuse it. Do you have coaches ever actually calling it a boop shot? Absolutely. That's, that's where I get it from. I've had several coaches. We don't like boop shots as a blocker because yeah. you're just giving it to the other team. But in the event it's a setter, it's a little bit harder to read. It's not normally there. It's just a soft shot put right over the net. I've heard tip, tap, dink, everything else. Molly Wilson has the boop. She serves here for set point. Randorf on the slide. The doors remain closed at the pins. Washington rolls right through the opening set. So Northwestern trying to turn it around here in set two. Maddie Ensley gets the first swing. And misses a touch long. Point Wildcats. Maddie Ensley thought she had that one there. Northwestern doing a really good job of staying disciplined on their block, staying low and tight to the net. Wilson finds Wilmis. And it's another Audra Wilmis kill. She's got five on eight errorless swings. Audra Wilmis stepping into her role today, playing very, very well. 
and she has to do that in part because the Huskies don't have their leader in kills, Kirsten Barden. Rylan Reed elevates, pounds it off the block. Clean dig from Drew Wright. Second chance for Reed. That one will be a kill. Looked like a little bit of a miscommunication there between Maddie Ensley and Lauren Bates about who was going to dig that ball off the floor there. You know, the reaction time was a split second late from the Husky Libero. Here's the Cats Libero, Drew Wright. Randorf cross court, Zoria Hurd is there. Really tight cut shot from Bush, and she terminates. Monty Bush hitting a really, really sharp angle there. Tim Nolan is prepared to challenge. This thing was almost parallel to the net, Marin. Elise Haney is nodding, saying that thing's in, but Tim Nolan has pulled the green card to take another look. Tim Nolan trying to build a winner with these Wildcats. 5-18 and 18 this season, but he knows how to take a program that wasn't super successful and turn it into a winner. After three building seasons at Grand Canyon, they jumped from an 11-17 11 and 17 record to a mark of 24-6 in 2019, and they just got better and better from there. Last season, he guided the Lopes to a WAC tournament title in the program's first ever NCAA tournament berth. That's really what drew the folks in Evanston to Tim Nolan. And here we get one more look at a ball that was very close to the line, but apparently out. Tough, tough break for Armani Bush there. Leslie Gabriel doesn't seem to believe it. She might be asking if there was a touch off the block, mm. either or in, out, or touch off the block. Making sure that the R2 checked out everything Absolutely. over the course of the replay. Now, you saw a lot of continuity during your playing days at Washington as far as the coaching staff and success on the court. For Tim Nolan and for Northwestern, though, what kind of challenges do they face in taking a program that has been competitive but has to retool here to become a winner in the Big Ten? I think Northwestern and, and Tim Nolan just have to figure their role on the court. Are they going to be a blocking team, a serving team? What are they going to be known for? Are they going to be known for their defense and make their strength the hardest thing that other teams have to beat them at? The Big Ten is a hard conference to play in. You've got, you got to find your niche somewhere in the conference to really stand out. It's just a rock fight every single game. And it'll be interesting to see what Tim Nolan and his staff carve out as their niche in the years to come. So it stays a Wildcat point, or rather it's reversed to a Wildcat point after the second look. Northwestern up 3-1. Roof straight down. The six foot four Elise Haney is there. Elise Haney knew that one as hers as soon as she jumped. Strong and across the net. And she's a testament to the depth that Washington has because she's barely played this season, and yet Leslie Gabriel has so much confidence that she can come off the bench and replace Katie Wessels today. Wilmis notches her sixth kill. Wilmis has seen the block really well. She's seen what shots are open to her and just putting it in the right spots every time. Wilmis, another example of that depth. How much deeper do you think this year's Washington team is than last year's? I think this year's Washington team is one of the most deep teams there is. They got players that can play in any position all the way down to the to Sophia Tolino, a grad student in. She can play opposite. She could play outside. She could play libero if she needed to. I think it just a testament to their training on off the court. And we haven't even seen Kuhn Fletcher today, who led South Carolina in kills a season ago.
Bush. Now Russo off the hands and down. Tough play for Audrey to make there. It's right on the tape, but not quite high enough for her to push back over the net. It's a good tool off the block by Northwestern. Lauren Carter here, the other setter in the 6-2 that Northwestern's running. Rylan Reed winds up. Wilson off a tight ball. Wildcats back in system. No touch though, Point Huskies. Molly Wilson saving a couple of tight passes in that rally. And we're gonna go to the monitor once again. The green card getting a workout here at the beginning of set two. You have it, why not use it? Uh, yeah. Well, especially when you're successful too. You don't, uh, you can keep using it more. So Washington and Northwestern meeting for just the fourth time ever. First time is Big Ten foes, obviously. Washington leads the all-time series 3-0 as we get one more look. Great job by our Big Ten Plus crew to slow that thing down, but I, I couldn't tell whether or not there was a touch. I don't think there's enough evidence to overturn that call whether or not there was a touch. Well, Tim Nolan knows the West Coast very well after his eight seasons at Grand King, and of course they'd come here often to face Seattle U. And one more look. Looking for the micro touch. I think Northwestern's out of luck on this one. Yeah, unless they have a different angle, a different shot that they're looking at down there. It's gonna be hard to overturn. You know, jump around has kind of been taken by Wisconsin, but it feels like everyone enjoys it when it's not being played at Camp Randall or at UW Fieldhouse. The Wildcats clearly having a good time on the bench today. Absolutely. So the call is a touch. Point Northwestern, the Wildcats have an early 6-3 lead in set two. And 2-0 on challenges. They retain both their challenges. A really choppy start to the second set. But the Wildcats are currently on a 3-0 run. Rylan Reed gathers and a little roll shot right into the middle of the court for a kill. That's one of the perks of running a 6-2 and having your number one setter also being an option on the court. Their setter dug the ball and then their other setter set the ball, keeping them in system even though it's an out of system play. Here's Lauren Carter, the junior setter from Winterset, Iowa near Des Moines. Julia Hunt with a rocket. Julia Hunt hitting her favorite shot there. She is what we call a cut back hitter, meaning her favorite shot is towards zone one, and it is a strong shot. And she had no problem being the Wildcat block there. Summers on the tip. Point Cats. That is Sophia's first attempt and kill. Smart spot there between a couple of players. Back inside Alaska Airlines Arena for the first time in a couple of years. Again, she played four seasons for Washington, but then took one year off before joining Northwestern. That one will find the scorer's table. It was kind of serendipitous that Sophia Summers wound up with the Wildcats. She didn't exactly plan on playing another year, did she? She did not. Sophia Summers went and traveled the world, did her post-graduation celebratory trip, and then just happened upon the coach one year. He asked if she still had eligibility, and she decided, yeah, I want to play one more year. She's getting her master's at Northwestern. Everyone with that extra year of eligibility due to COVID, and Summers redshirted in her first year at Washington, so... She had that extra year to play here in 2024. As Washington adds to its aces tally, Amani Bush now has four today. 
Amani Bush doing really strong behind the service line. She came in with seven. She could double her season total for aces if she keeps up this pace. An absolutely torrid stretch for Bush at the service stripe. Amani Bush, every time going back there, bouncing the ball, taking her breath work, and hitting the same serve every time. She puts all the pressure on Northwestern with an aggressive serve. Almost made it six there. Into the block and down. The Huskies keep the run going. It's a 4-0 burst. Molly Wilson doing a really good job of keeping her hands pressed as long as she can on that net. She's able to stuff that ball. And she's gotten stronger over the course of her career, and that certainly helps a setter become a better blocker. Absolutely. Maddie Ensley, a little tip block. A 5-0 landslide, and Washington retakes the lead. Washington Huskies really turned it on these last couple of points here. Another good serving run that's jump-started their energy. And again, it's Amani Bush sparking the Huskies with her serve. is 2.6 kills per set. Came into this match with only seven aces, so beating the odds in this one. Northwestern with a nice play out of the timeout and a kill for Sophia Summers. Northwestern getting their middles more involved in the offense now. That would be two kills for Sophia Summers off two attempts. And she's a Pacific Northwest native out of Portland, Oregon. Went to Sunset High School. A top 20 recruit before coming to UW. Alexa Russo, solo stuff. Alexis Russo with a great solo block there. Maddie Ensley. Russo can do a little bit of everything. She had a triple-double earlier this season with 25 assists, 17 kills, 15 digs. She can block two, and Sophia Summers takes home an ace. Sophia Summers, from her time at Washington, was one of the best servers we had, and she's showing it off today. The Husky from 2019 to 2022. A Wildcat in 2024. Huskies out of sorts, discombobulated. Northwestern with a nice response out of the timeout. They've taken four straight points and forced a Washington timeout. In the last several weeks, they sold out their arenas for the first time ever. Of course, both times they were hosting Nebraska. But it's fun to see the enthusiasm and growth of the game over the last several years. We love to see that for women's volleyball. Maddie Ensley cross court. Washington sides out. Maddie Ensley taking the team on her shoulders, saying, don't worry, I got this one for us, and helping them side out there. It should be said, too, unlike some other even high major programs, both of these schools have very big arenas. Alaska Airlines Arena fits almost 10,000. Welsh Ryan in Evanston, over 7,000. So it's no joke getting a sellout. You know, you can't blink today, Marin. There's going to be another ace. Julia Hunt with the Huskies eighth. Washington Huskies has been really working on their serving in practice this week. It is coming out strong today. They average 1.6 per set, but they are blowing that mark out of the water. Huskies in system. Alexa Russo says, I'll try this myself, but she swipes it long. It's a good idea by Alexis Russo, catching Washington's defense off guard there. Just got unlucky with how deep it went. And she's one of the few players on the court who is so used to gathering in that direction and swinging with the left arm that she can catch an opponent by surprise. And it looks like Jeff Liu, a member of the Northwestern coaching staff, has got the attention of the R2 because there's a little bit of blood on the court. So we're going to pause to clean that up. I mentioned earlier they know how to fight against some of the nation's best. 
Russo on a little tip. Now Ensley off the tape. And wide, Husky fans thought it was their point, but it lands with the Cats. Russo, a really smart player there. That's the second time she's tipped on Washington's middle who was serving. And middles are known for not having the best defense in the back row, and as you saw, it worked out there. Julia Hunt barely able to get that ball up. And that serve into the net. Now, prior to that 2022 meeting between these two, they hadn't played in almost 20 years. In fact, their most recent meeting before that was 2003 in the NCAA tournament. And I'm sure both these sides would be thrilled if we could have more postseason clashes in the years to come. Absolutely. Kennedy Hill gets up, sends that one straight to the deck. She had a hot start, but the Huskies have been able to slow her down. I think Northwestern's passing is finally in a spot where they can start setting their middles again, allowing them to get in the offense and be a threat, just like that kill right there. Wilson at the net, feeds Wilmis. Now right side, Ensley. Reed takes a tumble, so does Randorf. There's no one there to play it, but Wright does get the free ball over. And then a little tip from Haney for the kill. Lise Haney saw a lot of players out of position there and said, I'm just going to put this where no one is. Smart play by her, good court vision. And the Wildcats had to play a game of twister midway through this point, which left Haney with options. Absolutely. It was a good play by Molly Wilson to know that her middle was up there and had the opportunity to score. Ensley, a serve. Huskies that, with nine today. That serve by Maddie Ensley. That was right on the tape and did not drop. That was a really aggressive serve. A beauty from the senior. That one catches some tape. Huskies back in system. Bays tracks it down to set it for Wilmis. Cross court attack spills wide, and we're tied up at 15 apiece. Audra Wilmis thought she had the sharp there and just hit it a little too long. That might be because she was a little bit further inside the court there than she normally is due to an inside set. Overpass, and point Wildcats. Molly Wilson doing her best to save another tight pass there. Let's see if the Washington Huskies can bring the ball off the net a little bit, allowing Molly Wilson to set her offense in tempo. Keep in mind the opening set was pretty close to this point. Washington led 15-13 before finishing that set on a 10-2 run. And they want to pick up some momentum here after the Imani Bush kill. Look at that, a pass off the net. Molly Wilson's able to keep Imani Bush in tempo, and it was a great kill by Imani. A nice sharp swing, no one even close to it. Fourth kill for the junior out of British Columbia. She's got five aces as well. Rylan Reed, first and third touches. They'll give her another crack at it. Punched up by Zoria Hurd. Huskies will have to send a free ball over. Wildcats trying to capitalize, but it's into the antenna. Off the block into the antenna, Northwestern point. Smart play by the Northwestern outside there. That set was a little tight and going wide. She wasn't quite there. She was able just to hit it right off of the Washington block. Nice tool shot from Rylan Reed, who leads all Wildcats in kills with six of them, and she's still errorless on 15 swings. Reed, great athleticism. Another kill. Lucky number seven. Rylan Reed hitting that to the deep corner in between Lauren Bays and Zoria Hurd. It's a tough shot to dig because it causes players to cross. And Tim Nolan liking what he's seeing here as his Wildcats have snatched a two-point advantage.
Wilson floats it for Wilmis. Reed again. That set was tight, and Wilmis gets the block. Audra Wilma is being in a really good spot there. She was low and across the net, not allowing Ryland Reed to go high off her hands there. This is looking a lot like Northwestern's match against Oregon two nights ago. Oregon won the first set down in Eugene 25-15. Northwestern took the second 25-22. So these Wildcats know how to bounce back after a brutal first set, and they go back up by two on the summer's kill. Quick attack by Sophia Summers there. There wasn't even time to react. That hit was so fast. It looks like Northwestern runs a zero tempo set with Sophia Summers and a little bit slower one with the other middle. High octane offense at times. Bush cross court. Amani Bush has found her shot that works against the rotational offense. That sharp shot in between the libero and the outside of Northwestern. Slices that one right around Summers. So they're trading punches here late in the second set. A rare miss from Bush. Northwestern catching a break there right in this late in this little set here. Not only does Bush have the five aces, she's had some massive service runs where she just threw Northwestern out of sorts on serve after serve. Summers has been good in her own right. That was a solid serve. Doesn't matter, a kill from Ensley. Maddie Ensley making it hard for the defense to pick that ball up off the block there. Huskies within one. That one's Shanks. And some miscommunication from the Wildcats. We're tied at 20s. Julia Hunt with another ace. And the Huskies have hit double digits. 10 eight ups against Oregon. And she was a huge reason that Washington won on its home floor against Oregon. It's Washington's day serving 11 aces. Julia Hunt coming for Imani Bush with her ace total now. Now she's at four. Julia Hunt getting a little lucky with that tape shot there. That thing jumped to the right. Putting Washington up 21-20. Kennedy Hill responds. Northwestern really productive when they're able to work the middle. Absolutely. Northwestern's got two middles that are very, very talented and can score a lot of points when they're in the system. Wilson zips it to Ensley. Recycle it for her. Almost overpass, pushed across by Wilson. Haney stuffs it. Hazan with the rainbow. Haney terminates. Elise Haney hitting that cutback shot towards Northwestern Sutter, taking her out of system. A third year sophomore from Kirkland who starred in volleyball and basketball at Lake Washington High School. Replacing Katie Wessels today and doing so admirably. Hazan betters that ball. Washington with a chance though. Back in system, Haney called for a carry and she's given the R1 the look like really? That's a tough call, that's a judgment call and it changes ref to ref. It even changes with the same ref in the game. It just depends on how long the ball sticks in your hands. Well, we mentioned she was a great basketball player, all Kingco at Lake Washington, but you're not allowed to get the full dunk here on the Terraflex. A serve for Northwestern, Wildcats back in front. Wildcats not ready to let this set go. Washington calls its final timeout in the second. 
a three. Four or 5,000 have poured into Heck Edmondson Pavilion for this one. 23-22. Hussein Hazan serving the junior out of Istanbul, Turkey. Rylan Reed cross court, miss players. Wildcats wanted a touch, they won't get it. We're tied at 23. Warren Bay is diving out of the way to let that ball go out of bounds there. A split second decision that you have to make. It's so hard to make those, especially when there's so many micro touches on the block. You never really know if they touched it or not. Did you prefer to be a middle blocker, just go up, throw the hands up? You don't have to worry about being in the back row so much? Absolutely. <laughs> Will miss, tools the block. Set point coming up for you, Doug. Washington Huskies turn it around after being down by one after that last time out. Audra Wilma has just caught Northwestern's middle high off the hands there. Ensley serves. Overpass. Haney drills it down. Washington comes back in set two and wins it 25-23. Washington has a game against Minnesota, a 16th ranked Golden Gopher squad, and she delivered 19 kills, tying her career high, helping the Wildcats, or excuse me, the Huskies, Get a marquee win on the road. And it seems like she's comfortable playing at either pin. Amani Bush has been like that since she got to Washington. She can play anywhere. I think she even played middle a little bit in practice when we were down a few players. Another player that can play anywhere on the court. Leslie Gabriel told us earlier this year that having Kuhn Fletcher in the gym has helped everybody's blocking. And she's made a difference for this team. And, of course, Amani Bush has plenty of experience playing all over the front court. Bush with a laser beam. Amani Bush just exposing that sharp angle of the court, whether it's the middle blocker's hand that could drop in and block that shot or the outside and the libero crossing to get up. Northwest has got to be able to stop that ball. And she's got such strong vision. She's got four digs on top of those stats you saw earlier. The aces continue for the Huskies. That's a dozen now. Lauren Bay is hitting a short serve there. She's kind of known for hitting a short serve, and you think they would know that it was coming, and it just dropped right out of the air. Miscommunication between the back row player and Sophia Summers, the middle blocker. A perfect little lollipop. Here's another one. Punched by Reed, the underhanded. Knuckle into it, sends it into the scorer's table. Huskies on a 3-0 run. Lauren Bay is causing chaos with another short serve. That one might have been up, but it wasn't a great pass, making it hard for the setter on the outside to make an attack there. Here's Bayes, the senior from Orange County, California. Has led the team in digs for three straight seasons. Top 10 in career digs at UW. Rylan Reed goes line, but misses the corner. Rylan Reed just barely missing there. That was a close shot. Rylan Reed saw the block leave her line there and just went for it. So Bayes keeps serving. That ace from her a moment ago got her within two aces of the career mark from Courtney Thompson as Bayes continues to move up the record books. Wilmes tools the block. Audra Wilmes doing it all for Washington. Audra Wilmes has been so shot smart with her hitting today, hitting shots just off the blocker's hands, making it impossible for the defense to read. The Huskies rolling with plenty of momentum after closing set too well and winning it 25-23. That will be a ball handling error committed by Wilson. Washington Huskies could really work on keeping their setters off the net now. Molly Wilson's keep having to going tight and just trying to lay it up with one hand there. And that's such a hard play as a setter, especially keeping your offense in system there.
Ryland Reed serves at Zoria Hurd and takes an ace. Ryland Reed serving that ball high off of Zoria's outside shoulder. Not quite sure if it was in or out. It's hard to tell on those. You never really know. You just have to either commit or let it go. The Huskies with Bays, Hurd, and Wilmis in the back row. Hurd gets another shot here. Better serve reception leads to a Husky point. Julia Hunt with a little bit of a slam dunk there, just throwing it down. Washington loves to recruit those multi-sport athletes. Just like Lise Haney, Julia Hunt was a basketball star in her prep days. I think that's a common theme about middle blockers. We're usually really tall and are told to play basketball from an early age. Did you play, play some hoops? I did. Yeah. It would be a waste not to have their six foot four frame out there on the hardwood too. Bush off the block. Amani Bush's seventh kill. Almost a great save by the Northwestern Libero there. Amani Bush hitting her sharp shot off the block that time. Amani Bush did say that she did not enjoy playing basketball. She said she did not enjoy bumping into all these other sweaty people. I feel the same way. I am not a contact sport person. <laughs> she learned early that volleyball was going to be her game. This is from an interview she did with the Seattle Times earlier this season. And perhaps we can talk about that more after this timeout. Washington up 8-3. to three. All the momentum with the Huskies. A great finish to the second. And Marin Grote. And we got more great action coming up later today on Big Ten Plus. The Husky men's basketball team will take on UMass Lowell. Really great program out of the America East that played Gonzaga a couple of days ago, making this little Pacific Northwest swing. And we hope you'll join us at 7.30 Pacific tonight for that matchup. Northwestern sides out, coming out of the timeout. Buse Hazan with that kill. And Marin, how can Northwestern turn the tables here and make a comeback in the third set? I think Northwestern has just got to pass well and keep their setters in system. They have the offensive threats to make a run at it. They just need to be able to use them. They've had some good serving runs with Sophia Summers, and they'll take the point here. Husky fans wanted the point, but it's a lift called against Washington on the third touch. It's those slam dunk plays. It's, it's hard not to hold on to it too long because you want to tell the ball where to go, but you have to be so quick with it. Molly Wilson really isn't pleased. This isn't something that you can challenge. It's a judgment call. So the Huskies will have to just live to fight another day. Hunt on the slide. Free ball back to UW. Bush leaves no doubt this time. Washington Huskies is not letting that previous point affect them. Really going for it, this one. Amani Bush changed up her shot. She went off the line blocker this time. Amani Bush was featured pregame in a message to the fans since this is the Native American Heritage Month match here at Washington. She grew up on the We Will Come First Nation Reservation out on Vancouver Island. And she told the Seattle Times earlier this year that learning the value of community and how to cultivate really strong relationships was key to her success coming here to UW, knowing how to build relationships with her teammate, her teammates, and that's really helped her thrive here at the University of Washington. Imani Bush found a sense of community here. And she's had to battle some ups and downs, missed all of last season after having shoulder surgery in August, but her teammates were super supportive of her, helped her pull through that season on the bench while she cheered them on. And she's really a key contributor for them this season as they try to get back to the NCAA tournament. That one's long from Katherine Randorf. Huskies lead by five. Katherine Randorf looking for Washington's high hands on the block there and just missing it.
Bush paints the back line. A game high nine kills. Monty Bush ran a big attack out of the back row there. Julia Hunt almost got in the way of Monty Bush's attack. Wasn't quite ready for it. Hunt keeps serving. Ensley pounds it. A little extra muscle to put the Huskies up 13 to six. Matt Ensley taking advantage of the overload on the Northwestern blockers there. Elise Haney being strong, getting up, forces the Northwestern middle stay a little bit longer on her. A little bit here and there in October. And then of course, Washington always has its veteran leaders like Matty Ensley. Matty Ensley being a team leader out here on this court. Serving well, hitting well, she's just doing what she does best. And she does it at such a steady level too. She's not high and low, she's steady, which is something I know that she has worked on over the years at Washington. Today she moved past Courtney Schwann for 17th in career kills at Washington. Ensley now with 1,125 of them. Wildcats need to shake things up out of this timeout. Randorf, nothing changes at that pin. The Huskies with their seventh block, and they lead by eight. Maddie Ensley does the right place at the right time. She's so good at blocking. She's really good at watching the hitter and mirroring what they do so she can be in the best spot possible. Oh, Washington preparing for their stuffing on Thanksgiving by stuffing the stat sheets today. And Julia Hunt's going to add an ace. Julia Hunt making a competition with Amani Bush on who's going to be the ace leader today. And it seems like so many different Huskies, they're not thriving in just a narrow category. Look at Julia Hunt, one of your middle blockers with five aces. Crazy numbers. What a save from NU. Bush down the pipe again. Washington Huskies not letting Northwestern's valiant efforts there get to them. Monty Bush hitting a strong pick with small block there. Court was hers to hit. And she can absolutely fly when they give her that big shot. Another great serve from Hunt. No touch. Point dogs. Kennedy Hill, Northwest's middle, wanted that one. You can see her reaction as she saw it. Didn't quite touch Elise Haney's hands there. Yeah, that went around Haney and Fun reaction from the middle as she waves her hands. No touch. You have to sell it, whether yep. you touch it or not. Haney, that dunk is good to go. Elise Haney hitting that one, saying she's not going to get called on it again. It has not been Northwestern's day. They kept it tight in the second set and finished 25-23. But Northwestern has been stomped on here in the third. Huskies up by 11 even after that service error. Julia Hunt with a good service run there. Washington Huskies have been thriving off of service runs today. Whether they're aces or just good aggressive serves, it's been the spark of all their runs. Here's Buse Hazan. Well, the Wildcats still serving well, too. That's their fourth ace. Fusei Hassan is hitting a strong, flat serve there. It's really hard to pass those because you're not quite sure if it's going to sail out or drop short. That one dropped a little bit short there. And she came to Northwestern after a couple of seasons at South Florida. And Tim Nolan having to go to that transfer portal in his first year as head coach. 
Ensley, hammer time. Maddie Ensley, a strong swing there. Maddie puts Washington up by 11. Rylan Reed punches that one into the stands. Rylan Reed going for those Washington Huskies high hands there. She just missed it through a seam in the block there. Sometimes as a middle blocker, when you're late, you get lucky because you're in the wrong spot and the hitter, you're supposed to be there. There's a counting you be on there and then they miss because you're not there and it's just a game of luck. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. Short serve from Wilson. Reed swipes it across, point cats. Reed saw a good spot on the court there and she just put it right in the right spot. Catching Elise Haney's hands on the way down, messing up the timing for Maddie Ensley to dig it. Ensley from the right side, misses the stripe. Maddie Ensley saw the line there, she had the street, just snapped her wrist a little bit too far outside of the court. Northwestern finally has a little momentum on their side. But they need to turn it into a big run. Washington sides out. Alderomas with a big cross court swing there. Ricocheting off of Northwestern's Libero's arms. This has been a classic Huskies match. The balanced attack. Again, they came in with six different players averaging almost two kills per set. No one has more than 10, but they have five different players with at least five kills in this contest. Ensley gets on the floor. Katz with a chance to capitalize. Pinball back. Summer stuff. Haney on the solo rejection. The Dons make something out of nothing. What a rally for the Washington Huskies. Ball pinballing around off Maddie Ensley, off Elise Haney there. What a way to persevere. Well, what did we just say? Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. Bush. Off the edge of the block and down. They have run roughshod through the Cats here in set number three. Washington Huskies really took this set from the start. Started strong, finishing strong. A Northwestern block, Randorf and Summers are there. Good job for Northwestern and being in the right spot on that. Like we said earlier, it's hard for Amani Bush to see where the block is because the ball's coming over her back shoulder and they're just in the right spot. Bush, perfect placement. Kill number 12, teeing up match point. Monty Bush hitting off a nice set from Burke Hewitt there, who subbed in for Maddie Ensley. A dominant third set. Lauren Bay serves. Bays with the pancake. Another great save. Summers with the dunk. Sophia Summers took that opportunity to steal that point away from Northwestern.
Wilmis into the block, covered by Hunt. Bush. Back to Russo. Spills over. Hunt's there. Bush fires long. Northwestern not letting this set go. They're fighting hard to keep it going. Washington Huskies having to scramble the last couple points. And the Wildcats trying to keep the fans on their feet for as long as possible here in Seattle. A dig kill for NU. A little bit of a miscommunication there. Northwestern setter went up like she was going to set that ball and faked out the Washington blockers. It's all about selling it in the game of volleyball, whether or not you touch it or not. Leslie Gabriel imploring her troops to seal the deal. Bush with the dagger. The dogs topple the cats. Washington wins in straight sets. And who else to finish it but Amani Bush? Minus four. Chavu. Damage is good. 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 Ha, <laughs> 